So, uh, good afternoon, uh, everybody. Uh, it's my pleasant duty to show some case studies on application of jute geotextile in diverse areas, not only in civil engineering, in agri, horticulture, and forestry also. Although time is very short, I will go quickly. Uh, all these things, Professor Babu, Dr. Mahadev Dotto, Monimoy, they have explained very nicely, and my Siramat Sahib also. Now, I should uh, tell you one thing that jute geotextile made of jute yarn is a natural variant of geosynthetics. In the international parlance, geosynthetics em encompass both man made and natural geotextile like jute and koi. So, man made geotextile are fabric made out of <coughs> yarns through synthesizing synthesis of petroleum derivatives. That is all this thing, polypropylene is this. Man-made geotextile have long effective life, but Dr. Dotto mentioned that questionable eco-compatibility. Natural geotextile are made of 100% natural fibers like jute, coir, etc. Natural geo geotextiles are biodegradable, eco-friendly, and though have shorter effective life, but sufficient to improve soil behavior. After that, any material, including jute, is not needed on the structured area. Construction of any civil engineering requires correct assessment of all parameters, especially geotechnical aspects and right choice of material. Use of JGT in civil engineering constructions where soil poses problem in gaining acceptability for technical suitability, eco-compatibility, and economic advantages. Everywhere geotextile is not needed, where soil has some problem, there only it needs some intervention with any type of geotextile. It has been found from laboratory studies corroborated by approximately 250 field trials, actually it's more than that, trials that with JGT application, Load bearing capacity here, although we have written severe, enhances by two to three times minimum. Over the control value of subgrade in all uh, cases and even more in few field trials. So, geotextile is a fabric that I have explained. Uh, engineering properties improves the uh, enhances the engineering property when applied in or on soil by performing concurrent function of separation, filtration, drainage, and initial reinforcement. Dr. Babu has explained. Natural geotextile and jute geotextile deserve separate mention because of its natural resource, annual renewability, and unique technical features that you have also. These are the technical features of, this is lignocellulogic material, cellulose and lignin, total 82 to 84 percent cellulose is there. That's why for slow production, water or moisture from the atmosphere is being absorbed by the material jute itself and released during the dry spell, keeping the soil below in a conducive condition that vegetation comes up, that is bioengineering technique, bioengineering solution is enhanced, is ensured. Now, these are the unique properties. I, I draw the attention of all the participants here. Why we are after jute? You see this initial modulus of jute, that is tensile strength vis-a-vis -vis elongation at, uh, at break. Here, 17.9, this is highest among all the geotextile, although sisal has the, is the highest, but I won't mention sisal because sisal is not available in my country in the large quantity. So, we should prefer initial reinforcement is very, very needed because when a baby is very, actual baby, when he grows up, then no mother or any guardian need not take care. So, initial, reinfo initial uh, stage is very, very important, do takes care of that. Uh, these are the technical parameters of jute geotextile, open jute geotextile that were used in the KRD also 23 roads. The tensile strength is 25 kN for river bank protection. This type of fabric is used here 20 kN turns both in machine direction and cross direction. And elongation at break, you see this is very, very less, 12 percent only. And apparent opening size was designed and developed the fabric engineering is this was designed in consultation with the prominent eminent civil engineers in the country and they suggested that most of the soil of my country 
the uh, average particle size distribution of the soil lies between this range. That's why we designed the fabric in this function panel. And these are the fabric uh, for uh, erosion control depending upon the gradient, slope, uh, angle, rainfall and type of soil. We suggest that uh, Dr. Dotto or our Jute Commissioner sir has mentioned that JS, J, NJB has a sound technical team. They can suggest in which condition, which type of fabric is needed and how to install it. And NJB team is dedicated, is committed to provide installation guidance and short, provide all sorts of support, everything to, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, this was also covered by another, this is Munimai has explained. Uh, this uh, Dr. Shiramasa, time is short, that's why I am doing hurry. So, uh, this is your uh, road, sir, Karnataka, Bidar district, I think you have shown, and the, uh, the uh, load bearing capacity was enhanced, enhanced by about three times, you see. So, this is another road of KRDA, here also more than four times, road bearing capacity. And it was done under Kadari, uh, he took the, all the pain and he invited me, NJB uh, technical team, to call to my short program. There it was held and thereafter you decided with Professor Babu, you discussed with Professor Babu all these things. So, uh, as Dr. Mahadev Dr. has mentioned that Sunanda spoke to the contractor, they are, they are actually uh, feedback giver. They said that yes, it is for, for the five years, six years, seven years even, no maintenance cost was incurred. So, what more do you want? Nothing. So, uh, these are the <coughs> uh, Mushidabad district. Here also PMG say wrote under PMG say Pradhan Mantri Gram Sarak Jajana. This was the initial condition. Then 724 GSM open fabric was laid and the similar process as was done in KRDA, all this row material was, construction material was loaded and then after 2.5 years, the condition of the road was this. And even after 4 years, we visited the site and found that no, no subsidence, no crack was there. And the result, so for result is concerned, so you see that 2.6 percent was the initial uh, severe value and after 2.5 years, two and a half years, it was 7.4 times. So, here this was uh, done in um, Jajpur, Urisha, district of Urisha. Uh, when uh, B.C. Pradhan Sahib was the director technical, uh, the uh, chief engineer there, under his uh, initiative it was done. And here also the uh, improvement of the performance of the road, uh, of the jute, to improve the performance was 3 to 10, that is three, more than 3 times was the enhancement of the uh, load bearing capacity. This road was constructed by Tamil Nadu TNRRDA and it, at Erode district, that is a long road, 8.9 kilometer road was constructed with jute geotextile, same type of fabric was laid, we the NJB team were providing installation guiding at site and construction was done as usual other than the jute geotextile condition of the road even after 3 years, 3 years is this, you see, no subsidence, nothing happened and KR, TRRDA, they are also happy. Dr. Malloy Dev is present here. I think, uh, uh, yeah, he will show in his during his presentation. There also, uh, another. This is a subgrade improvement of the light low volume road, rural road in the under PMGSY. So here, another uh, application we did it in the year 2001 in Calcutta city itself to prevent reflection crack. For this purpose, generally. Mastic asphalt is being applied. Mastic asphalt at that time it cost, it was, cost of mastic was around 650 rupees per square meter. Here on jute fabric, that time it was only 9 to 10 rupees per square meter. Of course, the, now, today in 2023, jute cost has enhanced. It is around, I think it is around 34, 35 rupees per square meter. This type of fabric, uh, this type of fabric, what was laid, it is not working. Oh, yeah, working. Yeah, so you can read it and the condition of the road, application was done, well, this road was made good. I am uh, explaining this one because this type of road, even in PMGSI road, this this type of phenomena will occur and occurs definitely. Potholes, reflection, crack, all these things. It almost as good as uh, uh, mastic asphalt, uh, this works. How, how it does it work? These cracks are being made go make good of the road, surface repairing, all these things are done. Thereafter, tack coat, prime coat followed by tack coat is being applied 
then jgt is applied on the tac code on the tac code then again another second dose of tac code prime code is applied the condition of the road this photograph was taken after 5 year uh, after 5 years of completion this of this work no crack no very less crack this you see the crack percentage improvement you see 11 and the initial stage it was this and portals after two and uh, half years it was this all these things so so you can see the significant improvement of the uh, uh, road dr pataria uh, had an idea once uh, called uh, us uh, at a uh, board that please come to lucknow uh, why sir what happened he told that lot of roads are uh, distress are there some solution needs to be done by it needs to be given by you yeah njb has been declared as a technology provider that is for your kind information so we had been uh, we uh, were there uh, at the, the roadside we inspected the road and suggested the remedial measures in the similar method this type of road this is the paved road not unpaved road condition of the paved road you see after construction of three two and a half years so they repaired the road, just repairing going on, then prime code, tack code, similar way this work was done and even after three years of the construction of the entire road, you see the condition, no subsidence, no crack, no reflective crack and potholes, were, potholes are there but very, very negligible. So another road under uh, Horingat, under PMG, say Pradhan Mantri Gram Sarek Jajana at West Bengal is being undertaken and NJB is providing the technical guidance. And here, site-specific, Dr. Dotto mentioned that site-specific product is also developed. So, for Horingata purpose, that is PMG, say West Bengal, we had to develop, we had to thought of specific purpose fabric. It is, uh, I think, Birla Jute Mill is, is it? Birla Jute Corporation, they produced 1.32 uh, centimeter white fabric and that fabric was laid, laying and going on, the, adopting the similar process, the finished road you can see it is, of course, we don't claim anything here because, uh, because it is done only before, I think, three to uh, two, three months back. So, let us see the performance and WBSRD is evaluating the performance. Let us see that one. Uh, sir, I like to draw your kind attention. Someone was uh, uh, telling that uh, Babu, Professor Babu was uh, told that executive engineer has the ex uh, very high, powerful person in the dep any, any department. They can take initiative. We NJB, we didn't recommend to use this in the PWD road, st State Highway 10A. But uh, government of West Bengal PWD, they took initiative and they uh, used this potholes for prevention of the potholes and cracks they used in the PWD high volume road. You see, they here also, here of course the pavement, sorry, PMC thickness in PMG side road is 20 kilometer, 20 millimeter here, only 50 millimeter was, only this difference, nothing else. And the condition of the road, even after four years, this picture photograph was given by the executive engineer Peter Dipnar and Shil, the, the then executive engineer of PWD. Now, here is the Bakura Bypass, National Highway, this is Bypass, yes, NH60. This also was not recommended by uh, NJB because we are not sure. We are sure about a low volume road. We are not sure that what will happen if the high volume road in National Highway, how it is. Uh, but somebody didn't care, the executive engineer is the king of the road of the district. So, he took decide, decision and approached NJB. We suggested that is. Up to 25 kilonewtons tensile strength, any of the Jute Mill, Birla, Gloucester, Ludlow, they have also participated here today. And uh, any of them can manufacture, they manufactured under our technical support and guidance, and this fabric was used here. And the condition of the Kaushik Dash of Jute Corporation of India and myself is here, is a Kaushik and myself here. Anyway, from Jute Board and Jute Corporation, sorry, he is a JCI, he was that time Ijira, Jute Research. Anyway, though, so this condition of the road, you see, there's a perfectly in good condition and the uh, test, some uh, parameters are being conducted. They are very happy, actually. Murshidabad, here also the NFPWD road, 
here also the subgrade failure was there is a very very uh, perennial problem so it was scooped out the resection after resectioning this one this fabric one the material the fabric was laid and the conventional method was applied for application and then the condition of the road of the uh, after two years uh, is was perfectly all right no crack nothing else happened Sir, uh, thinking of this, uh, that we NJB undertook one project under uh, common fund for commodities, international project, Bangladesh and India was involved. And lot of roads were constructed with Jujio textile developed by us, was used in India and Bangladesh. You see only that, because time is short, I shall not take much, much time. You see the initial value, load bearing capacity, the value after, after construction of three years or two and a half years, you see, 2.8 to 11.39, 2.2, 7.39. This road, Kongsha Dubati, this one. You see this one, 3.5 to 11. Everywhere you see the increment. This is unbiased result given by Karnataka district. You see Devangiri, 2.8 to 14.6 percent. Professor Monjunath was here. He, they were the engaged to perform, evaluate the performance. So if you see the performance, sir, you, you were talking about the CPWD. You please keep it in mind, and uh, if you got chance, please speak. NJB is with you. Sir, it is uh, done in Bangladesh. You see here, without jute and with jute. You see the difference without jute and 3, 11.5. With jute. Here also 3.6, this. Here also 2.3, 13. In Bangladesh soil. There also clay soil. It is dangerous soil. Not like black cotton soil, but clay soil is not good. 3.3, uh, 8.2. Silty clay, it was 1.4, 19. Of course, without JGT also, uh, load bearing capacity improves everywhere, but process in increment is very slow. Now, river bank pro protection, uh, erosion control of the river bank, this type of fabric normally what happens, you dress the slope, you dress the slope of the eroded bank and make it to the suitable angle, angle of the internal friction, that is 2 is to 1 preferably in most of the uh, soil. Thereafter, what happens? Inverted filter is applied, then boulder is applied, apply, uh, is uh, placed there. This doesn't work because percolated water on the countryside goes down to the water, down, down to the river bed. During passage of this water, soil particle from this part uh, takes the soil there on the river bed and uh, the erosion of the bank takes place. So, filter fabric is a universal truth. River, in uh, the river dressed river bank, this designed fabric with 20 kilonewton and porometric range of 150 to 400 micron was laid or are laid on the surface and then one armoring is needed, one layer of armoring that is the boulder is given. So you see the condition of the river bank, this is the condition of the river, eroded river, this is causes of failure, all these things, the condition of the poor villagers, most of our Country people, they are lives in village, is the regular phenomena in West Bengal, in everywhere, I think so. Here is the road, Bartoli uh, district, uh, Punar Bhava, uh, is what done by executive engineer, uh, sorry, uh, PWD, uh, irrigation department government of West, Beng uh, government of West Bengal. Uh, you see the condition of the river, eroded river, it was dressed, this is erosion, is taking place here. This uh, the bank is being dressed and jute geotextile was laid over this and armoring was also done. It's a brick block, not brick block, it is a cement concrete block. It was done. Uh, here in uh, Jalpaiguri district, uh, uh, Dharala, it is Kujbiya district under Jalpaiguri division. This was the nature of erosion and it was uh, protected with a similar technology. This was the condition of the during application, after laying jute jute textile, armoring was done, the after application, the sign of, no sign of subsidence or erosion was uh, visible. Now in Ganga, river Bhagirathi, that is river Ganga, one part is called Bhagirathi, the nature of erosion you can see, this fabric is a natural additive treated fabric, natural additive treated fabric because we claim jute as an eco-friendly material, so the additive we should use natural material. Here natural material and this 
fabric was stitched as sight. No joining, no monimoy was showing that pegging, hair pegging was not needed as such in between the, the two layer of fabric. The condition of the bank was in perfectly good condition even after three, four years of, yeah. Uh, in the, any railway officers has come? So one uh, senior divisional engineer was supposed to come. Anyway, you are all civil engineers, so you will find interest. I will not take much time. This is the like road, subgrade stabilization. Here also, the in the railway tax subsidence, railway tax subsidence, here also Jujio textile is very, very effective. In Eastern Railway, this was the, at one side, this was the condition of the railway lateral, lateral subsidence and as well as vertical. You can note it, no? you can notice it. This is a vertical subsidence, this is lateral subsidence because no says, nothing is there, everything eroded and soil was soft. So what happened? <coughs> we scooped out all this uh, material including the ballasts. So below the subgrade was uh, visible, thereafter sand layer was done, uh, applied and Jujio textile was laid. Thereafter another cushion of sand, uh, sand was there because sand, Munimoy has explained, sand will ensure your durable uh, durability of the fabric because microbial attack will not be there and also Munimoy probably we have told that it will act as drainage material, drainage media, sand is very good drainage media, jute of course is a drainage, uh, drainage media. So it will uh, help uh, uh, much. So here, the below the railway track, these are being done, non-open and open fabric was done. Now, what's the result? Result is this picture. What's the numerical value? What's the improvement like our road? This value, this was evaluated under the guidance of RDSO, advice of RDSO, Eastern Railway evaluated the performance. You see the condition of the road, uh, sorry, railway track, it was done in 2000. That time, <coughs> traffic geometric index was gradually improving, improving, improving up to February. It was evaluated at 2000, October 2008. It was 106. So TGI improved for, from 47 to 106. It is a huge improvement, huge improvement. Now, the uh, what is the formation of JGT uh, formation treatment at, yeah, okay, cross level difference. What the benefit we got? This was not our subject, it was as because railway is not our domain, so railway engineers, they evaluate the performance. What they found? Cross level difference was in one chain is what is this and another chain is was 40 millimeter was this. And the ultimate gain was from 60 to 60 to 70 was here, 40. Here, like your road subgrade improvement you see, conducted by India. So, the, based on this performance, Eastern Railway has conducted two more, uh, sorry, applied two more uh, application, uh, uh, practical application with the same technology and uh, got the similar laser. Uh, open structure, this has been explained by Monimoy. So, uh, erosion control, it has been, okay. Now, I see uh, everybody, Professor Babu, everybody has told the technology and Theoretical part has been explained. Also, Professor Babu also shown some practical things. So here you see the erosion of the if you like to have a good road for a long time, then you need to protect this slope. Otherwise, it will subside, it will fall vertically or laterally. And here it is done also. Now at today's time, we need to plant by the side of the green uh, technology. We need to plantation, have a good plantation. So good plantation that if you enter somebody in the village area they will okay I, I have done it i have done it no they don't do actually we have seen then what is the way out sir madam jute is the answer because jute is a hydrophilic material this here jute non-oven has been laid around the periphery of the plant it will absorb water from the atmosphere, retain and do, release during the dry spell, conduce, creating a conducing climate to grow vegetation. And also, it will not allow wheat to grow because if wheat comes out, comes up, then the uh, nutrient will be eaten up by the uh, with the wheat. So my uh, targeted plant will get less nutrient. So this is the added advantage. This is a uh, road uh, you can say bridge approach. Is a very vulnerable point, vulnerable place uh, where protection should be taken. Here, yeah, yeah, so uh, laying after laying the uh, 
Of course, the toe wall was constructed so that lateral subsidence movement is being controlled. Thereafter, vegetation came up automatically after spreading some grass seeds or grass. So this was done by uh, PWD. Here in the 2008, NGB participated in the um, an international seminar at um, Australia, Melbourne, Melbourne. They requested us that uh, to demonstrate. So it was demonstrated, and you see at Melbourne, this was. Uh, successfully applied and the result is that they have sent us the res result afterwards. So here also at Punjab, Northern Railway, they were se facing serious problem. It is a cuttings, not slope, embankment is cuttings. Cuttings were uh, very, very vulnerable. So they, we have visited the site and suggested to use this type of fabric. So it was prepared, slope was prepared, not, it was not possible to take it to angle of internal repose. So some protecting work was done, uh, this type of protection purpose, uh, slow toe, toe, toe wall uh, was uh, constructed uh, to in, a, in, a, in, a, um, in order to avoid the lateral subsidence. The, after laying the jute geotextile, uh, grass was, grass seed were uh, applied, spread, and then the vegetation came up and the entire area was covered with vegetation, full of greenery. Here also railway is also, uh, also uh, facing problem with the slope stabilization of the at Patna. Uh, there also this type of jute geotextile was laid and uh, you see vulnerable embankment. There after this uh, was laid, is laid, the entire area was stabilized with the ghost of vegetation. Here also border roads, Mr. Sunil Bharma commander, he is uh, Sunil Bharma. He uh, invited us to provide uh, installation guidance of what to do. We suggested to use this jute geotextile and this type of problem is a nature is a very very common in all the roads you see what happened if the slope is if the chase is gone then entire road is gone time is two minutes two minutes okay okay uh, two minutes two three minutes okay mm -hmm. uh, uh, so here border roads uh, did it, did this work here also border roads this is bangladesh korim ganj road in asham so here what happened yeah 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 this is the national highway you same thing i should repeat i should not repeat no says, no shoulder, no flank, no road is here. So, before being sick, take the medicine, go to the doctor or ask your uh, grandma, uh, he will, she will guide you. This is the grandma's jute. You see what happened, this jute was laid to prevent, to arrest this type of problem. Vetiver grass was laid and the entire air slope was stabilized within 2-3 months time. Rainwater harvesting tank, about 280 or 300 uh, rainwater harvesting tank has been constructed in West Bengal by government of West Bengal, agri-irrigation agri department. They have constructed like this, the very 3-4 if acres of land are being dug and then pond is done to retain the water to catchment from the catchment water is retained and entire area is, was vulnerable that's why jute was laid and the entire area was protected with uh, stabilized with the vegetation growth another um, interesting thing it will be funny to you will be interested um, uh, surprised to know that normal soil jute can do, uh, serve its purpose can do it activity but in the in the NTPC that fly ash or pond ash, it is, this is pond ash, dadri, NTPC dadri. This type of problem happens, you all you are aware that what happens, the serious concern about the pollution, environment, everything is jeopardized. So this was on their request, we advised them to use this uh, jute geotextile like this. And the, this condition was transformed using Jude Geotex LA 500 GSM followed by Vatibargas. You see the Vatibargas, all of you probably South Indian variety of Vatibar is the best in India. So this type of Vatibar was laid, was planted and you see the plant uh, and it was the entire area was stabilized. Fly as dump, that is pond as, sorry, pond as dump was stabilized within uh, say 7-8 months time. Here also, jute where cannot go, Dr. Dotto was telling everywhere we can penetrate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Penetrate. Because you see, in the adverse climatic zone at Leh, Ladakh, minus 40 to minus 35 degree, plus 35 degree, or 40 degree. Here you can also see that jute geotextile was used by border roads. This is just Malari road, uh, it's good, low, Leh to Malari it is going. 
So this road, was, it is a hydrophilic. This is a burning example of the hydrophilic, hydro, hydroscopicity of the jute. You see the ice, uh, what um, uh, ice are being absorbed and due to the cold temperature, it is being uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, turned into ice. So the erosion was not taking place after some times. I, next photograph I have, we have lost. So anyway, this uh, border roads inform that this was done as a successful. In another area, you see the afforestation, for, sorry, forestation in the deserts. A desert is a very, it is a very difficult task because in the deserts only sands, sands, and everywhere, where you look, it's the sands, only sands. Only camel are very happy there, not the human being. Then human being will be happy. You people, if you go to Jaisalmer, you can see the site. You see, there is a serious problem with the sand dune stabilization. Sand dune was a serious problem. This type of fabric was developed by one of the member jute mills and was applied on the uh, sands and the vegetation came up with it. Yes, greenery in the desert is possible, sir. Here in the forest department, I think nobody has come. Okay, this is the afforestation, whether arid zone or semi-arid zone. There, if you put the jute geotextile, then the vegetation will come up. This is without jute, this is with jute, and this is the agro mulching, and this is the, uh, uh, the uh, agro mulching also, tea garden and pineapple garden. And this is also, sap, instead of sapling bag, if you is poly bag, if you use jute bag, you see the growth, difference of growth. And advantage of this jute sapling bag is much, much more than the synthetic bags. Here also, another uh, one, last slide probably, for growth of seedling and sapling. Jute Corporation of India supplied this material to the uh, forest department. The growth of seedling, then sapling, then plantation, and then transplanted, uh, transplanted onto the coastal area so that it, uh, production, that erosion of this vulnerable site is being totally arrested. So, uh, oh, this uh, Dr. Ch uh, he has shown, NJB, this has also been explained, what type of support we provide. Thank you, thank you very much. Any question? Anybody has any question? Or due to time, you please precise yourself. So and, actually, and the volume, lunch? Of, yes, sir. volume of swelling uh, and compared to other geotextile, it is having 44%. How to reduce the volume 44%? of uh, swelling? No, no. No, no. Volume of swelling is more and compared to other geotextiles. Then geotextiles. typing is like 44% cannot be. 44%? Severe? No, it cannot be. Yes, yes, yes. Monimoy has uh, uh, mentioned that one. Okay, okay. Yes, jute is a hydrophilic. I explained. Jute is a hydrophilic material. If you take a jute a, a yarn, um, say this is jute yarn, this is jute yarn. If it is a hydrophilic that is absorbed water during precipitation, preci erosion takes place during precipitation mainly. Wind and uh, rainwater erosion takes place. So this fabric, this yarn and fabric thereby has the transverse swelling, has the transverse swelling property by 40%. So if it 5 millimeter dia of fabric get, uh, comes up to 7 millimeter or 8 millimeter like this. That's why he mentioned this. Okay? Thank you. Anything more uh, we can discuss during lunch time. Thank you. See these roads, one has to visit to Tehari area. Huh. Okay. Where all these things are used. Huh. And at the same time, BRO is applied in the Leladak area also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think you should have projected those slides, it would have been more effective to see the roads. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Mahadev Datta, uh, Sri M. Des, uh, Sri M. Das, and Sri P. K. Chaudhary. I now I request uh, Professor Babu to present a memento to Sri P. K. Chaudhary. Thank you, sir.